Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Warmaster here. So, it's been a while since I do a commentary on a video. Uh, I have been busy lately with a lot of work and I did upload many things but not with commentary, just some um, music and plain gameplay. So I hope you guys don't mind. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's December, it's almost 2018. Yeah, it's been a really great year for me and for all of you and also for our gameplay. Uh, it's a bit, it's not winter here because we don't have snow here, but yeah, it's kind of cold because of the wind. Okay, so enough about that. Let's just move on to our topic today. So today I'm going to do something uh, which is will be beneficial for those who are start to buy in general. And I hope this video will help all of you, uh, even though this is just a plain talking uh, with no any editing, but I hope this will help. And yeah, so uh, today I'm going to talk about skill. So you guys may have known why skill. Okay, so skill play an important role, especially during your fighting in the battle. So uh, and general, uh, whether they, uh, they are strong or not, is depend on their skill. So skill, like I said, uh, have a major impact during the game. So let's have a look at Manstein, okay? And then I'm, and I'm gonna analyze Manstein first because Manstein is a, a very uh, OP general in the game. So Manstein, okay? So as you can see here, there are five skills from Manstein. There are first one Panzer Leader, Blitzkrieg, Plane Fighting, Tide of Iron, and Armor Assault. So five of them, okay? So five of them. Four of them are already a uh, tank skill, okay, so a panzer skill which is suitable for a tank general and a play fighting is just a, uh, you know, a add on more damage on your terrain, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna explain this one, you see, uh, this is gonna be real, okay, uh, it's not a joke, it's not a myth, it's not a expectation, but it's, it is my observation, okay, so uh, panzer leader is the first one, Blitzkrieg is the second one, Plane Fighting is the third one, Tide of Iron is the fourth one, and Armor Assault is the fifth one. So this is this means that Panzer Leader has more chance to get triggered, which means that Manstein has more sh uh, uh, stand to uh, sorry more chance to uh, trigger this Panzer Leader, and then later on Blitzkrieg, and then later on Blaine Fighting, and then later on Tide of Iron, later on Armor Assault. Okay, this is real. This is not fake or tricks or any expectation or just guessing or prediction or whatever. This is a real observation from my own opinion, and I I always see this during the game. So Panzer Leader got uh trigger first, which means that when you attack. The Panzer Leader will try to trigger and all of them will start all over again. For example, that if you have Panzer Leader, next time you're gonna have Blitzkrieg, but the damage from Panzer Leader and the Armor Assault will combine. And if you are under 15 health, or so like this one, damage to enemy plus 25% when the armor units are more than half damage. So, which means that after 50% 50, uh, 50 of your health, which means that for example, that Munchstein had uh, 1000 health, but after it reached uh, 400 or maybe uh, uh, 499, which means that. Uh, Munchstein got more damage, so his uh, original damage is 30, and then he got 25 war, which means how much? Uh, let's just do a calculation. Okay, 35, uh, sorry, uh, 30 and 25, uh, 55, 55 plus uh, 30, it's gonna be 85, 85 plus the damage from uh, tanks itself. Uh, it's gonna be more than 200 and then plus the plane fighting thing if you are landing on the terror uh, Sorry, the, the good terrain plane terrain uh, plus another 37 Then it's gonna be around 300 or 400 or maybe 200 depends on type of tank or armor unit that you're going to attack so uh, like, like I said, so uh, Yeah, Panzer leader trigger first uh, Blitzkrieg trigger first, plane fighting trigger first, tide of iron trigger first, so armor assault trigger first. So, this analysis will will help you, especially when you're trying to buy a general. Uh, I believe that way because I already tried and I already tested a lot of general, uh, like Peyton, uh, Gracchini, uh, Mies, Padogilo, and all of those general. Okay, so. The next one, I'm gonna move on to Zukov. So Zukov is a artillery general and an infantry general, but most of his skill are 
uh, artillery uh, general. Okay, so let's have a look at his five skills. So first is artillery reader, second is accuracy, third is explosive, uh, fourth is crossfire, and the fifth one is artillery barrage. So the first one is that mostly his skill will trigger all the time, the, the artillery leader, and then the accuracy will work all the time, which means that whenever he's fire, the amount, of, uh, the amount of damage will increase. That's what it's been doing. And the fifth one is, uh, th sorry, the third one is explosive, which means that if you fire this one at a stronghold, it's gonna deal a lot of damage. So these two one, accuracy and explosives uh, are consistency, which means that they will keep on going. Like plane fighting, uh, armor assault, panzer leader, and blitzkrieg uh, as well. And crossfire, the fourth one, which means that whenever the enemy attacks you, it's gonna counter back. So this uh, this crossfire uh, uh, will work all the time. It depends on the uh, I can say the uh, wait. Let me think about the word. Uh, like more than forty percent depends. I don't know. I also have this uh, metal that wait wait let let me check the metal because yeah this metal expert craft tactic yeah yeah this oh no 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 not that not that one not yet that one okay let's have a look at this no no raider just infantry leader and and this guy yeah 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 okay so no one I haven't got that one yet so maybe two more left maybe these two more left okay so let's have a look at Eisenhower also okay okay so sorry Eisenhower is also a, 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 a Navy general and Navy general like him he got what he got fleet leader shelter the port ship sailor and carpet bombing so he's not a uh, air force leader but he's a fleet leader which means that he control most of the sea he had a lot of sea skill which is beneficial uh, especially when you're fighting in the sea and the most likely to be triggered is fleet leader yeah okay let's just move on i'm gonna do a quick one okay so another one we got who we got Guderian. so Guderian also a tank general what did he got? He got first one is armor assault different from Munstein. Munstein got um, uh, got Panzer leader first, and then later on the last one will be armor assault. But this guy, Guderian, he got the Panzer leader as the second one. So which means that two of these skill will trigger together, which means that more damage from a uh, Guderian. And the third one is Blitzkrieg. So we all know what Blitzkrieg does, right? Uh, retaliation. Okay. Okay. So I got shelter for him. The reason why I, I put it shelter because you guys should know why uh, to you know receive less more damage. I can also change, but uh, let me think about it. Whether sh should skill should I change on him? That gonna make him a bit more you know OP, uh, dealing good damage. Uh, maybe type of iron. Maybe let's see. I'm not sure. Okay, so moving on to Gonev. So Gonev is also a artillery general, but something. Uh, just came in his my mind that he's not that good especially he has the raider skill which is not really you know logical for artillery general why do we need a infantry skill in in a artillery general i don't know why maybe just some easy take bullshit things okay so we have uh go now here artillery leader raider Accuracy, explosive, and I put plane fighting. Uh, I could put uh, artillery barrage, but maybe later on I will figure it out if my calculation were right. Okay, so Robogotsky, yeah, you guys might have known why did I sell Rommel for Robogotsky? Yeah, just because of this, because of this thing, three here Panzer Leader, Blitzkrieg, Armor So that's why I did it. Because the skill will trigger first rather than Rommel. Let's have a look at Rommel. Rommel. So this is Rommel. And look at his first and third and second skill. The third fighting. Crossfire and armor assault. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit. That's not really worthy. And it's his original price is 3000 medal. And I won all the, the, the discount. And his price is 1671. But, uh, uh, but for Robogotsky, remember his price? Almost 3,000, 200 and 500, sorry, uh, 2,500 medals. That's a lot. Yeah, and compared to all of this, still, I, I, I know Rommel is the best general in the history, but he's a bit overrated. Robogotsky is the best one right now. He shines with Manstein and uh, Guderian. Yeah, remember that. And have a look at another tank general. Uh, 
McGonry, yeah, McGonry, look at the skill. All oh, skill is shit, man. Like, we have to add our own and crossfire, the assist fan, and crane fighting. That's that's no use. And Crocini, what is it? Mechanist, Ace Force, and Mountain Fighting. That's not really useful. Peyton, just one type of iron. That's not gonna be useful as well. And what? Entrenchment, Camouflage. That's bullshit, man. Uh, Yamamoto, yeah, he's a. Uh. Uh. Wait, what do we call it? Air leader, uh, air force leader, yeah, air force leader. So which means that the first one explosive, which means that every damage against a uh, structure or stronghold will be more damaged. And the second one is air force leader, which means that whenever you put him on a uh, aircraft carrier, he's gonna deal a lot of damage. That's what I'm gonna say. And for those who check, let's check a look at Gobarov. Gobarov also a artillery general, but look at his skills, all of useless. These two are great, but this one, the jungle fighting, useless. And Choi Gov. Choi Gov is also useless. His skill is not really match. Leap. Leap is great. You know why? Because he got the first artillery leader. Plane fighting. And rumor. That's gonna be great. And we're gonna add another one. Maybe accuracy. Depend on your gameplay. And we also got these uh, five uh, movement things here. And let's have a look at Manaheim. Manaheim got the raider skill. Which means that his damage gonna be great. Trust me. Vasilevsky too. Gonna be great. And Downing. Downing also got the Air Force Leader. Like I said, uh, the more you have the first skill, the better your general is. Okay, Alexander. Bullshit. Nothing at all. Arnold. Also great. Okay. So, uh, I hope uh, this video will explain everything about picking a general. And I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I don't want to be to, you know, to prolong this video because I'm recording this on my iPad. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys later in the next episode